Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a flip cup today, but first I would like to show you my newest embellishment. I, it's quite large. It's a 24 by 30, so I have it leaning on the against the wall here. Let me show you like this. I did this Dutch pour several months ago, and let's see, it's too big. <laughs> and I think it was interesting, but it didn't sell. It didn't sell, so I um, decided to add these little garden creatures to it and to add more interest, and I think I think it worked. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me bring you in and show you. There's actually 14, I think, little critters here. I started with the spider up here. I have a spider phobia, but I think he was necessary because... Um, if I only added the creatures to the poorer part, you wouldn't, you might miss a lot of them. So he kind of invites you to look around and say, oh, there's more to it. Then I, I've got this uh, couple of dragonflies, some beetles, some caterpillars, little ladybugs. Um, down here, oh, I like this caterpillar. And um, that little bumblebee, another dragonfly, ladybugs, an interesting looking beetle, ant, even a pill bug. Huh. Anyway, I think it's quite fun now, and uh, it will be an interesting piece to have at my show next month. So, that's that. Now, if I can get up off the ground. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting old, my friends. Ah, she's up. <laughs> okay. I'm just working on a small piece today. A 10 by 10 deep canvas. Explain my colors. I've got Payne's Gray. Um, what is this? This is white with just a touch of Payne's Gray. Nice sky blue like. Gold. This was phthalo green blue. It was too bright so I added some white to it. It was too dark rather. I mean, I'm going to go sparingly with that because um, the other colors are mostly blues and, and the gold. And then this is turquoise, or cobalt teal, rather, which, to which I also added white to lighten it. So, those are my colors. I have added two drops of silicone to everything but the metallic. So I have about two ounces of paint in each of these cups. Stir it in well. And I'm going to do a flip cup. So here we go. Start with the dark. And it's pretty thick. I'll show you on the next one, the lighter color, so you can see the consistency. I will put the recipe I use and the um, and the colors and ratios down below. Here's the good look at the consistency. It's a little thick. It needs to be thick to hold the shape of the cells. I think. Silicone gets a bad rap, but it's really not difficult to remove. And you get this nicely shaped cells when using silicone. Okay, a little bit of this, not too much. And probably get three layers out of this. When you do flip cup, you want to have plenty of paint because um, you don't want to have to stretch. You don't want to go be skimpy on your paint because you'll have to stretch to get coverage so much that your your cells will lose their shape. So. It's always best to mix more than 
you think you need for a flip cup. Try to speed this up a little bit. Looks like four layers I'll get. And what else can I tell you? I don't know. I'm almost at the end of my time for pouring anything from my big show next month. This next uh, day or two will be the last I can possibly pour and have time for them to dry and varnish. So... Um, but there's, and I think I probably have plenty of inventory right now, but I'm, I'm really working on um, embellishments for my show. So you, you may not see me on uh, YouTube here for a little bit while I get things varnished and ready and continue embellishing. But that's where I am. I'll give you a little tour of the... Uh, show when I get it hung up. It's always kind of fun to see it all together. Okay, enough babbling. I didn't, I used up pretty much all the paints except the um, phthalo green blues. As I said, it really is bossy. And here we go. I was thinking of popping the bottom with a, a pin, but I don't have anything handy, so just we'll just do this. Oh, I forgot to load up my my um oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? You know, that gun. <laughs> what is it called? The torch. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to do a voiceover on this one. This is terrible. I think I... Let's see if I have any juice in it or not. No. Oh, my goodness. I can fill it up. Hopefully that's enough to get it going. Yes. Give it a quick one of these. And let's see. I got a weird um, a couple caterpillars there. Here's one. So I'm just going to, I'm going to run the skewer through just to change it up some. Another one. But they'll, they'll disappear and it's going to be quite busy, quite full of cells as I tilt it around and stretch them out. And I really like the contrast there with the dark. Oh well, what can you do? They're going to be in there. There's no avoiding. Got 
Hit it again. Maybe I will pour out that this so I can kind of save those cells. I like those a lot. But overall, it's a lot uh, more green than I thought it would be. <laughs> Didn't want that, I wanted more blue, but that's okay. That's what I mean about that. Green is very bossy. Lined it on the sides. Oh, look at those beautiful blue ones. Um, I will pr I will fill in those gaps there on the side with solid uh, Payne's gray. Some of it will drip down, but um, and that'll look quite nice, I think. Let's see, I'm a little squishy over here, so I'm gonna stretch those out a bit. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to hit it with a torch one more time to bring up some uh, little tiny cells and let that be. I like to get a nice assortment of, of shapes and sizes. And I like to maintain some of this negative space so but I can see that there will be little dark ones there which I like there we go All that done. Aren't those little ones cute? Those little tiny sprinkling. I should do one one time where I don't uh, torch until the end and just have a, a bunch of little ones. I mean, there's some big ones that pop up initially anyway, but uh, I like those little ones. They're darling. They'll grow a little bit, but not too much more. Those gold ones will be very pretty when it's dry. Right now they look just kind of 
yellow, but they'll, they will be pretty. Okay, my friends. That's it for today. And thanks for watching. Bye now.